Here's a problem you hopefully will never run into, but uh, I have actually seen it happen before. Someone just sent me a question, and what do you do if your foundation is a little larger than your roof trusses? And you can see right here that the foundation is five and a half inches. We got a two by six wall here. Five and a half inches larger, and this wall needs to go back. Uh, and if that's the case, simply install another wall. You can run another wall the full distance of the of the um, area wherever it needs to be. And again, you can see here we just have two walls. Not too difficult to fix. And you're probably thinking, now oh, wait a minute, how does the uh, foundation support it? Well, usually your foundation is going to be wider than the two walls. Uh, if we have a if we had two two by fours, that would only be a seven inch foundation to be the width. And most foundations are 12 inches to 18 inches wide. So um, even the two two by six, that's going to be um, 11, two by six, that's 11 inches, five and a half and five and a half. So you can see where that'll be fully supported. Now you might actually need to install some uh, epoxy bolts on the interior wall. Might need to um, uh, in, install some all threads with some epoxy. That might be a solution you're gonna need, but you might actually be able to just tie this wall to this wall. And if, you're, if you haven't framed it yet, you might be able to use a solid plate here. So if you're gonna use two two by fours, that would be seven inches. Just grab a two by eight treated and rip it down to seven inches for your two walls and that should solve that problem. Something else you could do would be to install the wall to support the roof trusses and install a shorter wall in the front. And this is common. You see this a lot in uh, stucco homes. I'll just run the stucco down here and then there will be a little sloping angle here on the top to help the water drain off. And uh, you say that a lot for a decorative look. So this might actually be another solution that you can use. But anyway, if you end up with a problem like this, you might actually be able to solve it simply by installing another wall um, in between here. And don't forget, you could always use posts and beams, uh, something like that. You could run a post and a beam across. but. The post and the beam is going to provide you with concentrated loads, which might require additional um, concrete uh, work to the foundation and the footing. So anyway, the double wall might be your uh, solution to your problem. You have any other solutions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and they will be greatly appreciated, especially if they work.